Hey guys, Happy Bob Lives here, and today I am bringing you a, well, a big team battle gameplay. And this is going to be, I don't, I don't know, maybe one of many, I hope. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say it, but uh, weapon or vehicle guides on how to help you improve and get better. So, right off the bat, you can tell, or, well, well, it, yeah. You can tell it's gonna be about the Banshee. I personally end up going 22 and 0, getting a perfection as well as my friend, without remorse. Yes, again, and yeah. So I'll get right into it. So if you're spawning red side and you don't know what to do because you don't have the Gorse Hog, I really recommend just going for the Banshee. Chances are that most of the blue team is not gonna be going for it. There will be a few, maybe, but you probably have a higher chance of getting it than they do. Especially if you put on mobility, which I was using. Anyways, so, I really recommend and suggest that you need to just... Don't don't go for anyone in particular, just fly around. Don't seek after someone in specific, like, just... I don't know, like, right there I did, but I almost got trapped there and I could easily get taken out but I was able to fly off but when you're flying around you're always going to come across people that are right out in the open like right there that guy's right there just boom and right here in the field boom so second uh always try and say hi always try and say hi until, until you are ready to come down and shoot at them because when, when you're high you're well when you're flying high up and higher up in the air you not only make it harder for them to EMP you, uh, it's, you have a great advantage because you can see mostly everyone around the map, unless they're invis or hiding in a cave or something. And, yeah, so, also, like, as you can tell, I go in, I, sh I banshee bomb, and then I boost out of there. Don't, I don't get a little bit of lag here, but don't stick around and try and pick fights that you don't have to, okay? It's most likely you're going to be right there when you come back around, so. <clears throat> Anyways, moving on. Um, Exile's like one of the only big team map, big team battle maps, I believe, that has the Banshee, so this practically goes for all of them. I know it's in Dominion, but this is practically the only one in big team. And what I suggest is just uh, I don't know but I this game I was running with a full team of eight uh, my friend and his friends had some buddies on so eh, you know it worked out we play a good game uh, no, I don't know all of them I added a few they might see it. Here's a list of them right there that just came up. But anyways, coming back to the map exile, you can cut most of the corners up high. So here, where you're heading towards uh, that towards a uh, tank cave, you can fly over that. You can cut that corner pretty close. <clears throat> the giant arch by um, by blue spawn you can go over and even that big engine that's stuck in the wall you can fly over that which you see me do a few times in this video it's a, it's an easy way to cut out of a battle that you don't want to get into and escape now as you can see like here I a few times in this game I get stuck um, lower down in the map I like go down I and I get stuck in the trees so that's one thing that I would suggest that you try to avoid because if you get stuck down there too long, you'll probably get EMP'd, rocketed, splazered, or hijacked. So, here I'm using my cover efficiently to banshee bomb the tanks to help my friends destroy it. <sighs> During most of this game, we weren't really paying attention to the specific spawns and like timings, but we were able to destroy the their Gorsar straight off the bat while we had the tank. We, uh, of course, we controlled the Banshee, because I had it. Um, and we were able to pick up the Gorsog on its second spawn. Which, 
I don't know, it got destroyed at some point. I don't, I don't know what specifically happened. But, I know a lot of my teammates did this, but I c didn't really have the opportunity since I was in the Banshee. But, another thing to do is, if you're not going to use your ordinance, or you have something in there that you don't want to use, or there's nothing in there at all, then give it to a teammate. It will not only help them with their commendations, it's nice, you're working as a team, and... It they might even be about like I'm I'm not the best sniper shot. Uh that's not really a secret, but um if I'm <laughs> so like if I were in this case, like if I got the sniper, I would probably try and give it to a friend. Because most of these guys are probably better with a sniper than I am, so it helps them. So we're winding down here in the game and play. Let me know what you think about this if you wanna see more videos like this, tips and tricks on how to use different vehicles or weapons, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace guys.